So here we have the Mercedes-Benz A180 D on a 67 place. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're gonna start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the right-hand side, the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. In the center, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 72,255. You can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using a second ago are here. We have uh, controls over on the right-hand side for your phone and stereo. Stereo itself is over in the center. It's also where you can pair your phone, which is the menu that we're on at the moment. You can access everything on here using this dial just here. Uh, if you'd rather not use that, you can use the collection of buttons here. Uh, so for example, press the radio button. We are then on the radio menu. Uh, from the radio menu, you can see that we have got FM and AM, uh, and I'm using the dial to do this. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do so under the media heading. And again, there's a number of ways you can listen to your own music. Uh, this car's also got uh, satellite navigation accessed up here. Really nice, clear color display. Very easy system to use and a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in as well. Below that, we have the CD player, the main volume for the stereo, SD memory card input, all the controls I went through just a moment ago. We've got a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three heat settings on each. You can change the driving uh, setup from here. Below that, we have our dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. Uh, when you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning on and off from down there. It's on when that light shows, of course, or hit auto. The car will then maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you uh, and the direction of the air. In fact, you can uh, override that whenever you wish to with a 12 volt charging socket and some storage, and then the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.